WGIF, a weekend full of events on tap this weekend, but also some rain in the forecast. That's right, a little bit of rain on our parades, if we will, here, <laughs> yeah. Daniel. I know, once again, we're yeah. just kind of having some bad luck like we did last weekend. We had some strong to severe storms. The severe weather threat is low over the weekend, but some lightning could be in play here over the weekend. So that's something to keep in mind if you do plan on heading out to the parades or any of your other outdoor activities that you may have planned. We are seeing some rainfall this evening as well. I do expect most of the shower activity to be out of here within the next several hours. But if you live on the North Shore into South Mississippi, rain is falling for at least the next several hours. A little quieter down toward the South Shore. Some lightning into Washington Parish near Bogalusa. Picayune starting to see that rainfall picking up as well. Over toward a meet and down into the Mandeville Covington area. Some heavier rain where you see those yellows and oranges. Some light showers down toward the Mississippi Gulf Coast and a little bit of rain earlier in the Luling area as that's made its way toward Kenner starting to fall apart, but you still may see a few isolated showers this evening. All of this is in response to this disturbance in the central plains. This cold front is going to take its time moving toward the south, and so you see all the moisture moving in from west to east. We'll see some breezy winds over the weekend and the potential for more rain and thunderstorms. Now the severe weather threat, like I mentioned, is low where you see the darker green is where you start to get into that strong to severe category for us isolate a thunderstorm. So the main factor going to be the potential for some lightning. This is as we go into Saturday, we see the severe weather threat increasing across parts of Texas and then into North Louisiana and parts of Mississippi as we get into Sunday. But that marginal risk just to the north of our area. But the takeaway is over the weekend lightning. So some thunderstorms going to be possible as we go over your weekend. Heavy rainfall and in those thunderstorms, a low risk for seeing some high winds in some of those thunderstorms. The hail and tornado threat is generally pretty low. I'm not expecting any of those over the weekend. This evening, we'll see those rain chances coming to an end. Warm and humid with those temperatures back into the mid 60s. Some patchy fog may form as we get into Saturday morning. Some isolated showers start to develop as well. As we go through the day with daytime heating, afternoon rain and thunderstorms will be possible and they're going to be kind of spot. So you may see some hours of dry weather and then you get a brief downpour with some lightning and it passes through, but scattered shower and thunderstorm chances remain. This is 530 Saturday evening, so through the afternoon and evening. Typically the nights are quiet and we see more rain starting to develop as we get into Sunday morning showers and thunderstorms to our north and that will continue to build across our area throughout the day on Sunday but the rain coverage a little bit lower as we get into the afternoon on Sunday. And so those rain chances will gradually fall to zero, but not until we get toward Tuesday when that cold front will finally be pushing through the area. So if you're heading out to the Irish Channel Parade, just keep the umbrella with you as we'll see spotty showers around noontime and some thunderstorms going into the afternoon and early evening for the Irish Italian Parade Sunday that rolls at noon in Metairie. Kind of the same forecast with those spotty rain and thunderstorm chances. Wanted to mention the Mississippi River real quick. It's at 16 and a half feet right now. Flood stage is at 17 feet, but it's already cresting. It's expected to remain near 16.6 feet before it begins to fall. So the flood warning across the New Orleans area for the Mississippi River has been dropped by the National Weather Service. But as you see, all the areas highlighted there are still some flood warnings across the area where you have seen some rain. You're cooler with temperatures in the mid 60s to low to mid 70s. We'll still see some mild conditions over the weekend with those rain and thunderstorm chances going into next week, though, for the first day of spring on Tuesday, the sunshine returns and with it some cooler weather.